friends and welcome back to another episode. So it's been a while since I post some stuff related to fossils. So I was hoping that by now the quarantine was lifted here in Portugal. But unfortunately it's not over yet and I have to stay at home. So well I guess I could go out there outside in the middle of the hills. Normally I don't cross to anybody. I'm all alone but I wasn't going to give an example to anybody so there's plenty of people that uh, are at home so I'm I'm doing my part I, I stay at home so I was starting to think what could I do with uh, the fossils that I have so I have a pretty large collection these are the all the main pieces I have a video that explains some of the history of these pieces but I was uh, wondering uh, if uh, I have plenty of fossils and I took some pictures, I have some of them catalogued by species and by date where I found it and so on. But there's something missing, so if I took some pictures of these fossils for instance, um, well you can see some of details but you cannot explore the picture itself. So it, I guess my main purpose is to create something in 3D, so a 3D model, 3D copy of the fossil with all the textures in very high resolution for uh, if someone wants to investigate the texture if there is uh, organisms or if there is stuff attached or even take a look of the shape of the fossil it's much more easy to do that in 3D than uh, just with one picture so and there is another advantage as well if you lose the fossil or if the fossil breaks you, you, you can have a copy stored in your digital uh, in your hard drive or whatever. So keeping that in mind I know that there is plenty of software out there that is uh, very easy to use mainly uh, apps for cell phones. I tested a few of them and well uh, the results were not very good so I tried to do something with the free software and I choose um, a program that it's called 3D Sapphire and we have a free, uh, free version, free version that you can try for yourself, and you can uh, do some uh, 3D models of the fossils. The process is very simple, and I'm going to show you how can you do that. You you only need to have a little bit patience, and you have to have the program installed. And I will guide you how can we do something real cool with some fossils or that you already have in your collection. So let's get started. So friends, to start this 3D modeling of the fossil, I came outside to my balcony. And uh, the reason that I did that is because we have natural light. Uh, because inside of the house, the light is not uh, proper to, to take some pictures. And I bring this water bottle because I want to, to, to be able to take pictures from all of the angles of the fossil in order to be easy to reconstruct the shape of the fossil in 3D and I just want to point out uh, one thing that I did and it was a huge, huge mistake I tried to do this inside of my house and I put some white background some white piece of paper in the background uh, um, and I was thinking that it could be better because the rendering process will, will be a lot easier but I was wrong because the, the algorithm that that creates this 3D shape uh, base, uh, based itself on, on picking points in the image in using that points as reference. So putting the, a, a white background in, the, in the, the pictures I was removing that, that, uh, that points that was the reference to, to uh, glue all the, the, the photos together in order to create that 3D shape. So that is, was, was a mistake. So now I've learned something so I'm going to try to take some pictures of all of the angles and I'm trying to be careful not to have blurry pictures because if the pictures are a little bit blurry the outcome of the of the rendering process could be a little bit uh, weird so uh, with that being said let's get started with the photo shoot so let's go here we are so uh, as you can see I took a bunch of pictures of the of the fossil from different angles 
and now i'm sorting just the ones that are the sharpest ones so the ones that are not blurry uh, i guess the version of the 3d zephyr only allows the upload of 50 image i guess this is the well the the maximum limit uh, of this version but it's more than enough for you to reconstruct the fossil in 3d so uh, I already chose the the ones that uh, I would like so keep in mind uh, to choose the ones that are not blurry because if they are blurry they could uh, well they could mess up the the looks of the the final model so I'm going to launch uh, just the 3d Zephyr the free version so this is pretty simple so you just need to well I not now so you just need to click on workflow and new project and just tick these two boxes to compute the 3d model after project generation and compute texture after surface extraction so click next and then in this button over here just import pictures i already have the pictures over here so i'm going to choose this one i'm not going to choose all because i want the process to be a little bit uh, faster than the first time so i click next now the program adjusts the, the the calibration of the the pictures i guess this is uh, is made to to the program to see uh, the distance the focal distance of the the pictures that were taken so i'm not sure what this means but i click next so and this uh this next screens you can mess around with the settings but i don't recommend because uh, i just leave it on general if you want you read the tutorials and then you can mess around with these settings but just this is just for for advanced um, knowledge of the program i just click next again and next again and next so we have 28 uh, cameras the cameras are the number of pictures that was that were chosen and so uh, i'm going to click run so i'm just going to point out uh, something uh, real fast so in the my previous tests i mess around in that settings and i put the 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 settings to to extend it to how how can i say it to be sharper so it could take longer but the results the overall results were not very good so i just leave it as it is and that was the the best results that i have so you just click run over here this little button over here run and now this could take um, a bit so for me it was about 15 minutes because i uh, well i have a pc that it's not very fast but this could be this could take a while so i'm going to put the video on pause and when the process uh, ends i will recommend the video so So friends, this is the overall result of that uh, series of uh, pictures. So uh, as you can see, this this blue uh, squares that are not squares are cameras for you guys that know something about 3D. You know that these are the cameras. So in the bottom, you can see all of the pictures that were included in this uh, in this uh, pre visualization. So you can mess around and take a look at the the, the fossil you can zoom so you can see very well the texture just let me see if i can put okay now this is the fun part because uh this is something that i already i have this fossil for a lot for a long so let me see if i can roll it out like that so and i didn't even notice this just until now because i was looking at the texture so it's a little bit blurry in some points it's not very perfect but i was very happy with the results this is far better from the ones that were made by the apps of the cell phones uh so for now the the the, the cell phones I, I didn't see any app that was able to do this kind of reconstruction yet so in the future it might be different so for you guys of the future that are listening or uh, seeing this so keep that in mind this is what i could get in this in this uh, in this time so 
I'm pretty pretty uh, happy but I want to point out this so I have this fossil for a long time I didn't even notice this until now so I'm going to make a zoom and see this point over here let me see let me put this see that green dot there is a little bit of a shell over here so let me see if I can so there is a shell over here that was disguised and I didn't even notice this until now so this is pretty cool so you can mess around and see all in the great details the fossil so the fossil is still in the, in the in my shelf so uh, now I'm going to point out the failures because I don't know that these are probably my failures so the bottom of the fossil still has uh, so let me see if i can oh this is difficult to do so the bottom of the fossil i wasn't able to do or to take any pictures so it has this this hole over here so if i make a zoom you can see the inside but the inside is well the the the, whole, the other image but uh, inverted image so <laughs> it's pretty neat it it looks like it is a hollow uh, a hollow fossil so it's pretty cool so uh, we can do some uh, other thing okay this was another attempt of mine so I have this fossil over there so I tried to do some some the same with this one over here so this were done with a lot less pictures so keep that in mind so we have a large hole over there so i'm going to try to put this a little bit closer so and the image are not as sharp as the other ones so this one has a pretty large area that i wasn't able to 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 do anything so okay now oh, i'm pretty far away sorry guys i'm just trying to see if i can navigate in this so for me it's a little bit difficult yet oh okay center okay now i'm i'm cool so as you can see uh, some of the the fossil has a pretty nice definition you can clearly see some of the of the, the crystals in here uh, which is nice but they are a little bit blurry but this was one of my first attempts so not as nice as the other one but sure it's cool <laughs> so this was one one of my first attempt ah, uh, there is another thing that i want to talk about it's uh, sometimes when you uh, finish the rendering there is a bunch of objects uh, that a bunch of objects and bunch of stuff that it's already in here and you have to trim them so this is pretty easy to do so you have to uh, choose a uh, right uh, angle so for instance you can clearly see this point over here so imagine that i want to just delete this bit over here so i'm going to tools and where is it tools tools selection and manual selection and i'm going to choose the lasso tool and i'm going to just remove this bit over here okay see that that is in red so i'm going to press delete and it's gone so this is pretty handy when there is something in the image that you don't want to be in there so you can use this tool and we have the pictures in here so if you click in the picture you can clearly see uh, where was taken this picture and with where it was uh, pushed so i'm going to, i was seeing through this camera so now i'm going to see through this camera over here so it's pretty handy because sometimes uh, you need to make adjustments and the program allows you to remove a picture and be careful because uh, if some picture is not okay if you move the model then all the things could be messed around if you add another picture so i was doing this i uh, take some pictures some of them work some have don't and i have to come back and take some other pictures and well it was a little bit time consuming so this was one so i have another one in here i guess uh where is it 
open i guess it has this one as well discard so this one was also a nice one so okay i'm in the bottom okay as you can see this is a pretty good example <laughs> this is a pretty good example of what i was saying so the the pictures bring back this this garbage over here that wasn't supposed to be in here and uh, it was in the in the top of some cloth that i that i arrange and this is uh, the the but the, the 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 top of the of a glass that was covered with that with that tissue and you can clearly see that it brings along all of this stuff and now you you can clearly uh, do some some readjustments so you have to do some zoom and you can use that tool and selection and manual selection and i like this one the lasso tool because it allows me to choose well i could could cut just a little bit of the the tissue over there as well so this one off so if i do this in over here i don't know if i can cut the tissue or if i cut well let me try because i'm going to select i don't know if i'm going to select the bottom as well see the the red is all uh, also in the in the oh, oh, oh the red was also in the in the, in the tissue and i don't want to delete the tissue i want to leave it like that because it's a cool base so let me see this angle over here oh sorry sorry guys i'm still ah this is pretty difficult okay now i have to do this once again okay tools selection uh manual selection lasso tool and now it's okay now i can cut this garbage that is in here okay now it's another bit over there and there is another bit over there as well okay and now i'm going to close the toolbox and there is some stuff overing in here as well a little bit more manual selection lasso tool so uh, you pretty much see the point of this so it's pretty easy to work with this program and it has a free version so you can make 3d uh, models of your fossils i think it's pretty cool because it allows to to other people to to see some some nice details that normally uh, you on one, one picture you cannot see so this one looks like some alien egg or something let me I'm still struggling with the navigational controls. Oh, there is another bit over there that needs to be cut. So tools, selection, manual selection. Okay, lasso tool. So guys, it's pretty much about it So for today's video. So I hope you like the video. Uh, this is, well, one of my, my madness for today. For you guys that are uh, really expert on 3D and in in, 3D, in this kind of stuff, don't get mad because I don't. I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert in fossils and in 3D model even less. So I'm just trying to learn a little bit and show to you guys what is possible to do with this kind of stuff. So I hope you like, and if you like, put a like. It it will help me a lot in these difficult times that that we are living and we'll see you on the next movie bye